and things like that. What did you come away from that game thinking? What, what stood out to you? Um, you know, I think just the biggest thing was how we finished the game. I've been saying that for a while. And, um, you know, I told, I told the guys at the hotel, um, you know, we, were, we had a little offensive meeting before we came over to the stadium. And I told them that, you know, I want to be calling plays in the fourth quarter when the game's on the line. And I challenged them, do y'all want the ball in your hand when the game's on the line? And that's what they did. Um, it was very, um, you know, it was, it was good to see us kind of, kind of come over the hump and go win the game. You know, last year in that game, we felt like uh, offensively we played good up until the very end and didn't finish it. And um, so that was, that was obviously a big um, talking point, coaching point throughout the week is, you know, if we get up on these guys, let's finish it. And um, sure enough, it's tied in the fourth quarter and we got to go win it. And our guys did, did a good job. Chance that you guys averaged like seven over seven yards on first downs. Well, what was the key to being so successful on first down? I mean, I think uh, you know we threw, threw the ball well on first down. We we're able to you know push the ball down the field a little bit. You know, from the very start of the game, you know we hit the corner out to Traylon and kind of softened them up, which in turn you know loosened up some uh, running lanes inside. Um, you know, we were we were pretty uh, pretty simple in the run game. You know, just kind of spreading them out and. Um, they never really made an adjustment, so we just kept coming back to it, you know, and um, so I think that had a lot to do with it. You guys had real good balance on pass run. Um, how, how, how good is that when, when you're able to kind of even them out like that? Yeah, I mean, our goal is to be 50-50 as much as we can, and we were 51% uh, percent pass, so, um, you know, it was pretty good. Was, you don't get that very much, but we were able to stay balanced and do some good things in both pass and run game. Coach, your thoughts on Nick Starkel uh, as you're, you know, watching the game unfold, and then also just going back and watching the film. Yeah, I mean, you know, same thing I've thought about Nick all along. He's very talented, um, has a has a tremendous arm. Um, you know, we've got to eliminate some things, some mistakes that we made, and um, you know, I don't want to downplay how 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 Nick played, but there's some things in the offense that Nick. Uh, can do better, and that's what I'm gonna challenge him because I want I want him to be great. I don't want him to be good. I want him to be elite, an elite player for us, and I think uh, we can get him there by eliminating a few of the things that that he kind of messed up. So uh, he played great, pushed the ball down the field, got the ball to got, got the ball to some playmakers. Um, obviously, there in the fourth quarter, hitting CJ on the wheel route there to to kind of break it open, and CJ did the rest. So. Um, he did really, you know, he did. He had a good game uh, as we expected. But um, again, we we want to continue to get him better and making him an elite quarterback to ever, to one of the best to ever come through here. Hopefully, just how comfortable do you feel about guard? Since I guess we're moving uh, Cunningham more to tackle. Yeah, you know, uh, we've we've been kind of talking as a coaching staff. You know, Myron, we feel like is has done an okay job at guard, but he's he is a tackle. Um, so. One of the things, one of the reasons behind that is, you know, you look out there at Dalton and Colton, and they play really, really well uh, until the end. They kind of wear down a little bit. So we're going to try to, you know, use Myron uh, to help spell some guys and get some guys some, some uh, take a couple reps off of them to keep them fresh in the fourth quarter. And that's what we're going to try to do. So uh, obviously with Ricky playing pretty well and, and uh, Caps being back, we were able to do that. Also with Clary, is it kind of a combination of, of just three years of playing the, in the line and developing, and what's been the biggest difference in him now than last year? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, the I always refer back to the, when the program came here um, and, and really worked with us and worked with our leaders and worked with Ty. I mean, he was one of the guys we really put in front of those guys and said, we need this guy to really become a leader. And, um, you know, you see, I think it was the third or fourth play of the game. If you go back and watch, you know, you see one of our guys kind of screwed up a pass protection and, and Ty, I mean, Ty went over there and, and jumped him pretty good. And because it's, it's starting to mean more to Ty. And I think uh, uh, he's really taking a leadership role in that room and doing a really good job of bringing the other guys along and, and being a communicator, uh, letting everybody know the calls that we're in and, and, and doing a really good job of picking it up. Coach, on the first time you guys got down to the critical zone on that first drive, was the 
did you guys know that you would take a shot to the end zone like that? Was that the first option? And, and just how did that play call come about? Yeah, I mean, Nick, we, we give our quarterbacks uh, options to do that anytime we get in the red area, tight zone area. So uh, it was a good job by him and, and Trey seeing it. And, and Nick threw a good ball up, and Trey went up and made a play. It was, it was good to see. But those guys, you know, we give them options like that all the time. And, um, you know, you see Nick signaling sometimes out there to guys and just giving them freedom to take what he sees, and, and that's what he did on that play. I just want to ask you how your old lineman graded out. And um, it looked on the short touchdown runs that there were some, some really big creases, like maybe not untouched type runs. Yeah, I mean, um, I thought our guys, our, our coaching staff, did a great job too of, of scheming some things up. And uh, obviously, when, when, it, when it's executed, our O line does a really good job. You have really big creases to run in. And, and uh, that's what happened. And, um, you know, they, they, those guys played pretty good. You know, Coach Fry felt really. Um, you know, felt a lot better after this game. Our guys did some good things in the run game. Obviously, we were able to move some guys off the ball. You know, we thought Colorado State was, you know, going to D line was going to be like an SEC D line. So, you know, it wasn't it wasn't that we were playing somebody terrible. You know, those guys were pretty good players up front, and we were able to move them. So that was that was good to see. Coach, uh, when you guys aren't able to finish off drives, how nice is it to have a guy like Connor to fall back on? Yeah, it was awesome, man. I, I sent Connor a text Saturday night. You know, was, that was big time. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I was a doubter. I didn't know if he could hit it, you know, and he, he drilled it. Uh, I think it, I think the uh, ball hit the hog pin back there. I mean, it hit the fence, so he, he killed it. And um, I think it would have been good from 60-plus, so – um, you know, he, he, it was awesome. Great, great to see Connor have that and get some confidence in him. And, um, you know, he, he, like I said, you know, he knew it was in as soon as he hit it. And um, Jack, you know, Jack, we're talking in the quarterback room yesterday, and Jack said, yeah, we knew it was in as soon as he kicked it. So uh, it's good to have him out there, obviously, and, and be able to make a 54 yarder like he did. What's your take on their defense? I guess uh, by a line, it looks like they got a 3 4 all the time. Do they play a 3 4 all the time? The 31, the linebacker, uh, Ethan Aguayo, he's got a, like, he's got 34 tackles in two games. What, what do you think of him and just their defense overall? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, day one, they're a three down structure team. They're, they are very multiple. You get them into four down with different formations that you get in. And, and uh, so, they, I mean, they, they do some a lot of different things that we'll have to be prepared for. Again, we'll take the rest of the day and game plan, not have practice today, and really put together a good plan for these guys. But, um, you know, they're very multiple. We're going to have to be alert on some things. Um, you know, number number 11 to me is the one that stands out. He he's, he's flies around on the ball. He's violent. He, he makes, uh, you know, tries to make a lot of plays. Um, you know, he's the one that really stands out to me in terms of, you know, just a guy that plays on 100% with a big motor and doesn't ever take a playoff and he's trying to hurt you when he gets there. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a football player. So um, we'll have to be ready for a lot of their guys. You know, like you said, 31's a good player. There's a lot of 92's a good player. So uh, there's some guys we'll have to be ready for. Um, the, when, when you attack the corners like you did, what does that do for a unit when your quarterback will throw it up and then trust his guy to win one-on-ones or just to get past the cornerback? What, what, what does that kind of do for a unit in, in play calling? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's, it's awesome, you know. Um, the first two games, those guys are true freshmen, and it's good to see those guys kind of grow up in the third game and go, go up and make some plays. Um, I've, I've been saying it, you know, those guys just got to get some reps. They got to grow up quickly. They're going to be tremendous players for us. Uh, and I think you kind of saw a glimpse of that on Saturday. Um, but again, it's just one game. We got to, we got to put it, put it all together for the, for the whole season. And hopefully we can carry that momentum into the next, in the next week and uh, in the weeks to come. Joe, with, with Ricky Stromberg, what, what's he doing to start as a true freshman? Is that, that's pretty rare. Uh, especially for an SEC team to see a true freshman start on the offensive line. Uh, he's just very athletic. He he plays hard. Um, pass protects well. He's got a, he's got some work to do in the run game. You know, you saw the, I think their guy beat him a couple times on on Saturday. But um, you know, he's just very athletic. He tries hard. He's a, he's a good player. Um, he's smart. Um, you know, you can't. He, he's not intimidated. Like I said, when we told him he's going to start against Ole Miss, he was just okay. Sounds good, coach. You know. And so he's just he's just a dude. He's just a player um, that we like, and he's doing a really good job for us. He's got to keep coming along, though. He's, again, he's he, he's got to make some better blocks in the run game, but um, you know, at times. But you know, he's doing a really good job in pass protection as well. 
Uh, other than Rakeem, you guys have struggled a little bit getting anybody going in the run game. Did things just open up more for Devois and, and Chase also had two carries for 17 yards, or was it a different mentality going in? No, I mean, it was kind of the same plays. Um, we were running with Rakeem that we ran with Devois and Chase, and um, – the only thing I can, the only one I can think of is the one that uh, Devois hit up the sideline was a little bit different scheme, and we didn't get back to that call. But uh, we had it called another time and jumped off sides. So um, the same scheme. I think uh, again, our offensive line did a good job. I think we we did a good job uh, keeping them spread out as well and letting some natural running lanes kind of kind of come uh, come through. So, uh, but all three of those guys ran the ball well, and we're really excited about those guys. Although it got voided by a penalty, how much of a confidence boost for the offense going forward on the fourth and one? With the yeah, I mean, I, I thought that was a, a big call uh, by coach. And, you know, the game was tied at the time late in the third quarter. Um, you know, and we decided to go for it. And I think we were going to get it pretty easily there. Um, but it was, you know, big confidence boost. Um, you know, it wasn't very far to go. So uh, we should get that every time. Uh, I know Chief has talked about Scooter. He never wants him to play more than like 75% of the snaps. With your tackles, with Cunningham kind of rotating in, do you have a, a target percentage there? Is it going to be just kind of a, a feel it out this yeah, first time? Yeah, it's kind of a feel it out thing. Um, I, I, I had to go back and get the exact numbers of the plays for the last three games, but it just seems like towards the end of the game, those guys kind of get gassed a little bit. I know it's hot out there at times, but – um, you know, I think that being able to move Myron and, and take some plays off those guys, I think you'll see a dramatic improvement late in the game, fourth quarter. That, that touchdown play O'Grady had, I mean, you're, you're up there in the box. Well, it looks like he's going to get stopped at about the 40. You're going to put that on me? What, what do you mean? No, I, I, I was telling him to go down. Yeah. I now, I, I just wonder what, yeah, what your thought. He even said after the game maybe it was a dumb play because they were trying to strip the ball, but he obviously turned out well. Yeah, I mean, well, I was well, – yeah. that's, that's what I was saying. You're going to put that on. I was telling him to go down. I mean, I was – go down, go down, go down because I saw him stripping out the ball. And um, it's just an unbelievable effort played by him to keep, keep, uh, keep his feet, hold on to the football and with all of them ripping it out or trying to rip it out. And – uh, it was a big time. I, I said it on the headset. It's a big time play uh, and a big time game by a big time player. So that's what it's all about. One more for Coach Craddock. How did Austin Caps How did he look? He did good. Uh, again, coming off of his injury, um, you know, we brought him. We didn't start and brought him in, uh, but he did some good things. Um, you know, he's continuing to get better, learning the position. Obviously, he's only been doing it for about a year now. So. Um, you know, he's, he's making huge strides. Um, you know, he didn't, I think he practiced a little bit on Tuesday, tried to go a little bit. Um, but, you know, he's, he's, the more practice, the more reps he gets, the better he's going to be. So, all right, thanks, guys.